Oh my gosh. No way. Hey guys, make sure to get entered into our huge giveaway. We will be giving away one or more of these products at random every 1,000 subscribers. All you have to do to enter is subscribe and drop a comment on this video. Good luck. We're heading in in the dark this morning. We're trying to get in front of Curly. We've been seeing him in the same general area every single day. so. But in the mornings, he's been beating us. So I'm going to try to get ahead of him. and Hopefully he does somewhat of the same thing. And I'll be in a decent spot to make a move on him. Once Nicole glasses him up. So that's kind of the plan this morning. Well, that almost worked. It's just too late getting up here. This mountain's always bigger than I realize. It's about 15 minutes too late. Came around a tree and noticed a bit. spotted a big group that we saw this morning he's super awesome super heavy really knobby uh, fairly long probably one of the top five biggest we've seen i would guess definitely be more than happy with something like him so we still got plenty of time before dark so hopefully we can make it happen skylar's moving in on his stock right now. I'm set up on the big eyes, watching to see what they do. They, I think they spotted him in the bottom, but some of the nannies looked like they had him pegged, but he still was probably just barely under a mile out. They have good eyesight. This big billy is in the middle of 30 nannies and like a few other small billies, but it's going to be tough to get within bow range of him. So there's definitely hope here. They're in a pretty good spot if they'll stay. So fingers crossed. So these things are all in the very center of that bluff, um, about halfway up it now. Um, 
and climbing. He's towards the bottom still, about in the middle, but he's climbing up and I'm not sure what you want to do to shoot because they're on the bluff now, like on the flat side of it. Um, just hug the cliff base and head towards them and see if you can get a shot before they go over the top. All right, Skylar should be popping out right there at that corner. There he is. He needs to get up there to shoot. They're all headed for the top of the bluff. Um, looks like they all want to cross over. He's still at the bottom though. He's probably only up the actual cliff, maybe 20, 30 yards, if that. Come on, buddy, stay there for just a second. Ah, there's no way. Went over the top. Is that the right one? Um, the one I was watching did not go over the top, so I don't know. I was filming a different one. Um, I'm filming the big one and he's back on your side still. Okay, they're back down on the ground and they're running to the right. Um, the big one is running to the right. I'm not sure what day it is today, but we've been seeing this thing every single day for at least four or five days. He's consistently living in this one canyon, and we are determined to find a way to kill this thing. And I'm having Skylar hike down the mountain right now to come back to me because we've got to go back up to the top from a different way, so he is in for a lot of hiking today. I've been set up here all morning in a little pinch point waiting for a particular group of billies, one with Curly in it and a few other big shooters. But Nicole just texted me and said there are a couple canyons over at the very top with all the big billies, Curly included. So I'm just packing up. I hiked up in here in the dark and this morning it was a waste of time, but it's the chance you take. So um, I'm gonna head back down the mountain to the truck and make another game plan and most likely hike all the way back up to the top of the mountain and make a move on Curly and his buddies. They're all bedded, so. While Skylar was up on the mountain, I was able to locate our big giant Billy Curly and he's in kind of a tricky spot, but it actually looks pretty doable. Like there's a path from the top and I think we have a play on him and he's moving um, to the left into an even better spot. So Skylar's headed back down to us. We're gonna, I'm going to watch through my window mount scope and hope that he gets into a good spot that we can hunt him. Skylar's coming back down and we're, I'm gonna send him to the top of the mountain. He's gonna have to go from the top down on this thing. So cross your fingers that he ends up in a good spot and stops and beds there for the day that Skylar can get in on him in time. What are they doing? They're kind of starting to move down, two of them. There's some big ones in there, huh? The three that are really big. There's one just like curling in the bottom. He's really tight. I don't think he's quite as big as Curly. How many shooters are in there? Like five or six. Oh, there's two giants down in the brush. That's where the biggest ones are in the very bottom. There's three. Oh my gosh. So we just came up into this new canyon. We've never been here before. It's just started glassing. And there is a group, a 
giant group of billies with a ton of giants, a couple like next level giants. They're only like 600 yards right now. Um, I'm gonna sneak into this bottom behind me and try to sneak up and get a shot. Didn't work out. Got to where I thought I'd get a shot and see them, and they were nowhere to be found. So they slipped away from us. I don't know if they knew we were here or if they were just wandering like these ibex do because they tend to do that a lot. Just walk around and cover country for no reason at all. So I'm not really sure what to think, but still got three and a half days of hunting to go and that was good for the soul to see a group of big giant ibex for sure keeps me motivated i'm physically and mentally getting drained at this point my legs just don't want to go anymore but we're gonna make it happen we're not gonna quit and we're gonna hunt till the very end i just went up to spot for skylar to try to get on those billies and just ran into this old structure. I'm not sure what it is. It's kind of got like old scrap metal for the roof and rocks for the base of it. Let me flip this around. This is pretty neat. So as you can see here, it's got this rock foundation wall. Looks like they stacked it up and put mud in between it to hold those together and put some trees over the top for roofs and some scrap metal. Looks like tin, uh, maybe pieces of an old car it looks like. Pretty cool. Some garbage in here. It's interesting. Has some metal bars in there. I don't dare go under this thing. It looks sketchy. It looks like they built a window. Had it filled in though, but there's definitely some windows. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Back to the truck. Alright guys. It's day nine. Just spotted Curly and this group again. Making a move. He just went out of sight, but gonna try to get in a little pinch point of where we think they might go so that's the plan it's kind of a long shot but we're running out of time so time to make it happen uh, this place is just a rock and brush and tree jungle this bottom is nasty I don't have much further to go but it's loud it's just nothing but giant boulders and trees and scrub brush with thorns all over it and cactus. But we're picking our way through it, just hopefully we can do it quiet enough and we don't spook them. I'm within 200. 
snack. Then I'm gonna pack up and head all the way back down the mountain. And go try to find something else to stock tonight. Well, we just spotted a big group of Ibex. Right where we've been hunting every single day, we decided to go somewhere else tonight because we spooked them out of there this morning. But look back and there's a giant group right where we went in the first night of the hunt. Two stud billies in there. Two great big billies. And I'm very worried we're not gonna have enough time. Yeah, time is of the luck. essence. We'll see what they do. They're in a good spot right now. Skylar just barely headed up the mountain and the goats actually just went in a pretty good spot. They started to feed out towards us, but somebody started shooting a gun over in a canyon one over from us and spooked them back over the top to where they can't see us. So that so far has worked out in our favor, but hopefully it didn't spook him clear out of that thing and the whole group is just in the perfect spot. We've been hunting this stuff every day almost, and we know it really, really well. So if Skylar can get there and if they'll stay put, like we have a really good chance. Okay, looks like one of the billies has popped out. Skylar's just at the base where he's gonna peek around that bluff and see if he can get a shot, but these things are acting. Oh yeah, something just happened. I'm guessing that they must have winded you or you spooked them because they're all running to the left now, wrapping around. So, not sure what you want to do. And there's Curly. Skylar just blew the stock and we looked over on another hillside. And there he is. He made a big circle where we blew him out and he does not want to leave his home territory. So here he is. No play on him tonight from where we're at, unfortunately. We only have maybe 20 more minutes of light, 30 at the most. And we have no play on him, so we're just going to watch him. And I got busted. I'm staring at Curly right now at 320 yards. <laughs> just standing there broadside, just tormenting me. I would pay a lot of money to have a rifle tag right now. Could have killed him about 800 times. But right now he's just sitting at 320 something yards, just broadside. sneak out of here. 
almost went the whole hunt without seeing a rattlesnake. This one started rattling as I walked by. I'm sure you can hear him. I can't even see him. I'm not gonna get too close. Oh, there he is. Ooh. I'm a little closer than I want to be. Those things are freaky. I hate rattlesnakes.